Today we are staying in the one and only arts of animation. Welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to Staycation Sunday. Heck Woo! yeah, where we ever where we always stay somewhere here on Disney Property Universal or we have a staycation trip where we go somewhere else. But welcome back to your daily dose. We're gonna head on in. We actually just got on Art Animation Property and our room was ready. So maybe you have to be on property for them to give you an earlier room? We don't, we don't know. know, but we just pulled on in and it it's was, like it knew that we were on property yeah. of Art Animation. It the, said, room is ready, so that's timing, the good news. The timing was very suspicious. <laughs> Super nice too, it's 1.30 at the moment. They don't promise until four o'clock as we all know, but welcome to Art Animation. Excited to be here. It's been a long time since I've stayed here. Personally, I just love Art and Animation. For it being a valley resort, it is pretty darn expensive. On average, $450 to about $500 per night. Now we did get about 30% off of that due to or my annual pass discount. But welcome to one of the most expensive valley resorts here on Disney property because there's mostly, mainly family suites here. I'm a little hungry right now because we rope dropped this morning. So we're gonna go to their main dining location, which is the Landscape of Flavors. Okay, let's go ahead there now and get some food. Check-in is that way, but we're gonna head this way because that's where we need to go. We're gonna walk right through the animation hall, but obviously we have Simba, Nemo, Ariel, and Lightning McQueen. Kachow is right. We're actually gonna be staying in the cars section. For my very first time, I've never stayed inside the cars. And look at this, bus stop, pretty empty, pretty empty. Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and all the way down there will be Disney Springs and the water parks. Oof, I wish you guys could smell in here. It is incredible. Here comes Casey. I love how every Disney resort has its own unique smell and it just hits you in the face when you walk in. It this one's just so good. This one's great. This one is great. It smells clean and fresh and just exciting. Like, we're doing a staycation. Heck yeah, baby. Welcome, everybody. Here we go. They have DVC here. I didn't even know that they did. And there's check in. But we're going to go to the left because we're starving. We're going to go through the ink and paint shop to get to the landscape of flavors. We've got all day here. We'll check out the gift shop a little bit later. Or maybe tomorrow. Welcome to the landscape of flavors. Comment down below if you guys have stayed at Art Animation. It's one of those iconic ones, or it's definitely turned into the iconic ones. The art in the um, Lion King section is actually visually stunning. What's up? What? What'd you say? say? I didn't oh. say anything. That looks good. The tandoori chicken. I think I'm going to get that. Sesame stir chicken fry. stir fry. Oh, you and your stir fry. Tons of variety inside the art animation food court. And also, shout out to Taylor. This is where Taylor used to work on her DCP before joining with me in 2018 at the Haunted Mansion. I just see the desserts right when you walk in. I kind of want to take a peek. <laughs> Oh, pineapple. Oh, yeah. This one is a vanilla cupcake filled with pineapple and topped with coconut buttercream. Little Mermaid theme. I think they always have that, but it's more fitting just because of Little Mermaid coming out. Obviously, we've got a nice grab and go section here featuring cereal, milk and juice, you know, Powerade, beer for $9, grab and go turkey and ham sandwiches, fruit as well. My go to overnight oats. I love eating that for breakfast. Oh yeah, they have grab and go salads. I don't even need to wait in line. What, they have seafood too? Greek salad with shrimp. Tons of pastries, my dad. This is calling him for sure. My dad loved these. You can not always choose a mobile pickup, which is super smart, but take a look around. Not really a lot of people here. Here's what Casey's getting at the, the chicken stir fry area also have a pizza section that's very popular and then just to the right burgers it smells so good all right let's see how much this is i did end up grabbing my salad which was grabbing that was super nice 
that, the sesame chicken stir fry. It comes with jasmine rice, chicken, broccoli, peppers, and onions. It looks good, but it looks like... Couldn't think of a better way to start a staycation than getting food. I got my healthy salad, and we're gonna dive in. A little bit noisy in here, you know, it's a, it's a food court. It's a valley resort where it's, you know, very spread out, which is super nice. I, I, I miss this feeling. But for the price, is it really a value resort now? You know, it's always been on the upper hand of a value, more like a moderate type value, but it's getting up there on price. Wouldn't you guys think? Mmm. This salad tastes honestly just like every salad I had before. All right, as we're about to make our way to our room, our animation officially opened May 31st, 2012. Over a decade ago, it's crazy how much time flies. The resort's theme is centered around Disney and Pixar animated film. It celebrates the arts and the magic of animation, showcasing beloved characters and iconic scenes. The resort is split up into four with The Little Mermaid, Finding Nemo, Lion King, and where, where we're staying, the Cars themed section. The Little Mermaid is the only one that doesn't have the suites. The other three will have the suites. It's less expensive to stay over in the Little Mermaid sections. Gosh, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think? <laughs> Your collection's complete. It will never be complete. It's sort of kind of cool being in the Little Mermaid section with the live action Little Mermaid coming out. You guys gonna see that movie? The 26th, May 26th, mark your calendars. It is so very hot out here. Now, one of the cool thing about this resort too is obviously we have the Disney Skyliner. We'll be hopping on over to Epcot via the Skyliner a little bit later, but we're gonna head on over and show you guys our room. And if you guys didn't think anything in the cafeteria was to your liking, you can always hop on over to Pop Century. You can go to Hollywood Studios, Caribbean Beach, Riviera. It's endless here with the Skyliner, which makes it absolutely yeah. amazing. I did check Pop Century's menu before, and it looks like it's very similar, but they do have a few differences. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely enough for everybody. <laughs> For this being a over 2,000 room capacity resort, there's not that many people walking around at the moment. I know a lot of them are at the parks, but it's a more peaceful value resort than the rest, for sure, for sure. It's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful value, but it's got the price of a moderate deluxe. Is it really <laughs> a value resort? Is it really? Personally, I would rather stay in a cabin at Fort Wilderness or something if the prices were comparable. Because a lot of times you can get the cabin for about four or five hundred dollars too, without any discounts, and that but... also sleeps six people. But that's just more of what I would prefer. This is more fun, I think, for family. Ah, you took the words out of my mouth. Squirt's got hidden Mickey's. Can you spot it? It's just so hard to me for me to believe that this is the biggest pool on Walt Disney World property with there being the Yacht and Beach Club. That one's huge, but... Wait, I thought that one was the biggest. Uh -uh. Is it not? This is technically the oh, biggest. I learned something and new. And if you go underwater, you can actually hear um, music as well. There's two pools. Sorry, there's three pools here. One in Little Mermaid, here in Nemo, and then where we're going, Cars. Oh my gosh! Next stop, Radiator Springs. And you might be confused, not the Disneyland one. <laughs> not the Disneyland one. Here's where we're going. We're actually gonna go up to a room right now. We're gonna get our bags a little bit later. I just love this section. Mainly, I think it's because I haven't stayed here. I've never seen a room inside. So we get to see what it is. For the first time, you guys might have seen it, but hey, if it's your first, it's your first, because it's also mine. Theming in cars is spot on. As a Cars fan, this is for sure my favorite section of Art of Animation. I'm excited we get to stay here. And yes, it is really hot. So, wear your, sun, sun, so, yeah. wear your sunscreen. sunscreen. Thank goodness we got 100% refrigerator air, refrigerated air. We need it. I think part of us just wanted to go to the room just to get out of the heat. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to Kachow. I see Lightning McQueen, baby. I feel like we got the best building. This one just seems like the center point. Technically you, it is. Yeah, would you agree with that? I would. Check it out, guys. So we got the best building in the whole place. It's a stunner. It's a stunner. Kachow. So many picture opportunities at this resort. Stunning. Well, let's head on in and check out this one bedroom suite. I love, love the bathroom in here. It's amazing. Important to note that every uh, room is basically the same, just themed to its intended area. And it was open, usually you have to tap, but cool, I'll take it. Yeah. Are we not doing the no elevator challenge? It's no. too hot. Nah, no, it's going in. It's actually pretty dark in these hallways. And the elevator. What is that? Is that a boat peep? No, it's no, Ariel. Okay, that it's makes aerial. sense. It's so dark in here. Four floors were on the third. All right, best part, finding our room. I remember way back when, when these were getting constructed and when this actually area sat vacant because this was supposed to be an addition to Pop Century, but it never made it and then they changed it to Art of Animation, a completely separate resort. For room 2714, but look at the, look at the lights. They're cones. It's pretty dark, but uh, the AC hits. 2714, we're gonna be in the left. We're the very last room. Why is that always yellow? Here we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, it worked. Let's go. Well, here we are, everybody. Welcome to our Cars Suite That Sleeps 6. There's actually a brand new feature here inside. I believe Art of Animation has a hole, but we're gonna start it off in the room where you first enter. So now this is per se the living room, and obviously we've got a Murphy bed, which right now it's a table with some very cool artwork on the Murphy bed. That's the door where we enter. We have some lovely paintings on the wall. Lots of touches to know that you're in a cars themed area. We've got the workbenches, the tools that act as your nightstand. And uh, here's a look at what it looks like when the Murphy bed is down. And would you look at that? Made her sleeping. <laughs> I love Disney art. You have an adjustable light here for reading. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. They, it's a little technically older than some of the new hotels that we're seeing. I can just tell by the plugs, because usually an end stand might have plugs. I think we have that in our master bedroom. But now we're gonna go into the quote unquote actual living room. We're in the dining room. I don't know why I call this a living room, but let's head on in to the dining room. Inside the living room is actually where we have the new feature that they were testing for a while, but we've got the Hey Disney device which I wanna test that in a little bit. But here's the living room. Obviously we have a couch, which pulls out to be another bed. There's what the bed looks like. Takes up not too much space. Nice, I'd say this is a double. This is definitely not a queen, but if you have six, here's what someone will be sleeping on. We have your kitchenette area with a large, large refrigerator toaster, which is a huge plus. Sink looks like a toolbox, Ooh, obviously deep. really cool themed. This is a bigger than normal mini fridge in Disney hotels. The lamp, it's got cones, cool picture. Yeah, the living room is, what do you expect the car's living room to be like? <laughs> the table's got the radiator springs and of course the historic route, 66. Now in the main room area, this is where we'll have our first bathroom. Here's a look at her. Cool uh, mirror here. Then we have a curtain, but wait to see the next bathroom. That's like one of my favorites. Here's a look at this bathroom. Curtain, pretty cool. It's a mater theme. Let's take a look at that shower head. There's the uh, Disney soap we're all used to. And here's a look at this shower, not too snazzy, not too snazzy. It's a little bit smaller, so keep that in mind. But now we're gonna head on into the master bedroom. This is the main bedroom here. So you have a queen size bed, not a king in this one. There's plenty of storage. You have a dresser over here, and then you have the two end tables with the fun lamps. It's a, a nice space, good touches, good for parents. 
got nice little postcards from cars. <laughs> Italy. Italy, the Grand Japan. Prix. But this is from the, isn't this from? I don't know what movie this is from, but it's from something. Uh, the flying one. Planes? Maybe. I, I don't even really remember They're that. They're being in Japan and Italy and England. We also have these new additions that you see everywhere in Disney property. There's no USB-C at all. And Casey just pointed out there is actually no closet. This is the only closet you get here at Art of Animation. So if you're bringing a lot of things to hang, there really isn't that much space to hang anything. There is another set of hangers out there, mm -hmm. but in this actual bedroom, that's the only thing. There's no like, private closed closet. Now into the bathroom, which is one of my favorites because voila, look at that shower. Supreme, I love that. That is something you expect in a hotel, which costs as much as this does, but it's a six bedroom, you know, what do you expect the prices because of that? Um, here's what you, you're working with here with your sink, only one. And um, really, really love the shower a lot. It is a um, quote unquote luxury shower that you see at deluxe resorts, even DVC. So that's a little quick tour of or one bedroom, I guess we call it one bedroom villa, technically not. About $500, so it is pricey, but I don't know, leave your guys' thoughts down below. I wanna check out this Hey Lux, or oh, hey, hey Disney. Definitely really fun for kids because here are all the prompts. You can play trivia, you can tell it to read you a story, play a soundscape, you know, it's just really fun for kids for sure. And you can say, hey Disney, good night, and you'll get a character saying good night. Let's see what happens. Gotta press start here. Hey Disney. Hey Disney, tell me a joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Moana. Moana who? Moana go sailing? <laughs> sure. Hey Disney, play a soundscape. Oh. You're it's like ambiance. We got our own cozy cone. I'm gonna chill here by the pool for a little bit. Never have I ever been inside a cone like this before. <laughs> we're chilling at the pool for a little bit because we're hoping it to go to Epcot because we did get a lightning lane for Remy's Ratatouille adventure. However, it looks like we got some some rain coming on in, so we're hoping the Skyliner does stay open because of rain and inclement weather. It obviously closes, so we're crossing our fingers through that's at like 6.50 to 7, so we should be fine. With the cozy cone, to, like being here, like all these cones, it'd be so nice if they had like those snacks that they have at DCA. To beat the ice cream on the top, but they don't. There's the storm that's coming. Hopefully it misses us. We decided to go to the drop off, even though we're not supposed to be here. I'm so, so sorry, but Nemo did it, so we shall too, right? Marlon said don't go to the drop off, you know? Yeah. I'm still waking up from a nap. <laughs> Casey took a nap. Um, ooh. Ooh. We're gonna try, I don't know, actually. I don't know, I thought it would be some little bit better, lighter snacks, but. Like a pretzel or something. I guess if you want. Good. They're like not. Let's try it. We'll try that and we'll get some kind of drink. You're probably gonna get pina colada. Yeah. We'll decide what I want in a second here. Big blue ocean sounds like a Long Island iced tea, so I wanna get that. Well, here's a look at the pretzel with cheese. My drink is basically like adult lemonade, so it's not gonna be the strongest. And there's Casey's at pina colada, but we, um, I have an update, they just cleared the pool for inclement weather coming on in, so we might have to move too, we'll see. Like, it doesn't look like a normal mass-produced mm -hmm. Disney pretzel, it looks a little bit better. It's also really soft, like a really soft pretzel. Mm. Good. It is truly a soft pretzel. That wouldn't be picky, obviously it's fake cheese, but we haven't really eaten much there. 
It is time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. To go where? To the one and only. Red. <laughs> Le Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Le Ratatouille. Le Ratatouille. We're going to take the Skyliner over and just enjoy a peaceful ride over to Epcot. Lightning Lane in about 40 minutes or so. We got plenty of time. We'll let you know how long it takes us. Something about the Skyliner, it's just. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next stop, Caribbean Beach. I don't know if they group me with people anymore, but we'll we'll find out. We actually got our own Skyliner. I was a little surprised by that because there are a lot of people waiting right now. There's plenty of Skyliners. We got a non-wrapped Skyliner as well. Chef's kiss. You could actually see outside, which is phenomenal. Just got to Epcot. Oh, I gotta flip my screen so I can see what we're filming. Casey just got an email. It said, well, it was just a notification on my Disney experience. 6.30 a.m. and they're already telling me that check-in, or check-out is at 11 a.m. tomorrow. We know we only stay for one day, but we, we know, we one know, we know. One night is a tease sometimes. <laughs> we're back at Epcot. The barges are gone, so it's gonna be nice to, to see it. Pretty crowded at the back entrance today. Usually you don't see a line at all. Is Epcot packed? I don't know. Maybe people found out the barges are gone and they just want to look across, <laughs> across the lagoon. Casey got stopped at security. My goodness, I feel like we haven't been to Epcot in years. If you guys have been wondering, yes, it's still Flower and Garden. That doesn't end until July 4th. And then we got the one and only food and wine. But we're here for one thing and one thing only. We already told you. Can you pronounce it again? We're going to Le, Le Ratatouille. Le Ratatouille. I tried my best. By the way, it took about 20 minutes, subtract six minutes because we were dilly-dallying. I would say 22 minutes, which is really good. And that also includes us getting off and then joining another line. Yes. Well, line, I, like, I would say that was a great time. Great, great, great. <laughs> you guys want to know a fun game I usually play in the Disney parks? You know, I, I just sometimes say like hello to people randomly. And I just said hello to somebody, and it was one of you guys. <laughs> that just made my entire night. They were so sweet. But at first, I thought that we offended them because, like, they turned around and then they're like, Kyle and Casey? <laughs> like, I'll just be like, hello. <laughs> yeah, he usually says it, like, in an embarrassing way. Like, hello. Hello there, hello there guys. <laughs> it's fun. Check it out, everybody. Our first look at Epcot without the barges. There's still, like, those tiny islands. Which, with it being that small, that's how like the barge just sat. Completely gone here. Cool. We're stopping at Japan to get a drink and Casey goes, I don't want to drink. And then she sees this one. Looks like a mimosa in a way. It has pineapple. It's not a mimosa. Hi. Wow, Casey ordering pineapple. She doesn't really like pineapple, so we'll see how she likes this. Oh, you want that one? Oh, I would have gotten that one. All right, after one sip, you have to give one word on your review, okay? I already tried it, though. Well, pretend. Here we go. And I already know what I'm gonna say. I'm, hey, let's say it at the same time. Three, two, one, Sour. chugger. <laughs> chugger, baby. Why do I always forget that that's your thing? I should have said it was a chugger. It's sour, but it is a chugger. If you guys are new to the channel, this tastes like a grape Jolly Rancher here. It is by far one of the best drinks here. That tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It is a good one. That one's a little too sweet for me. This one, it's not as sweet, but it definitely is sour because it's lemon and a bunch of other things. Very good. Nice, baby. Kind of crazy in how it cleared up. If you're coming to Florida and it says it's gonna rain, well, let's just say it's not. <laughs> Except right. for when it does. Let's go to Ratatouille. We thought we were only coming here for a ratatouille, but we came here for one drink each, but we're finally here now in Paris, France. Casey's lagging behind. We got somebody else behind us, but here we are. Welcome, let's go on ratatouille. <laughs> It is 
Paris. Paris, the city of love. It kind of smells like soft farts. But also with a mix of perfume. He lost two stars. If you guys were wondering, this is where I keep the 3D glasses. It's my horrible accent, I know, I'm so sorry, I'm really bad at accents. But let's go on Ramatouille. Ramatouille. <laughs> Yes, but what to prepare? Ratatouille. No. No. A simple omelet? No. Too simple. <laughs> what? Oh. Wait, wait, that's it! Oh no. Ah! I'm glad I didn't break a leg. What are you doing? Oh, we're gonna get wet. Ah! Tori and Elberts, I see. No, don't you dare. Oh. Wow, I've never seen. Whoa! Just... Hey guys, we're stuck in the rat race here. Good old Carousel Progress would be so happy. Thank you, Jim, for teaching me that. You guys want to see a magic trick? One, two, three. Yeah. Art animation. Do it again. I'm nervous. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this staycation video. Tomorrow you're gonna to see our uh, rope dropping adventure, which was the best rope drop I think I've ever had, ever. And this is probably the last time you're gonna see my hair this long, so I'm gonna be getting a haircut. But after the rope dropping, we've got a very special surprise. Something that Casey and I have never done here at Walt Disney World, ever, ever. So I'm excited to uh, film that one tomorrow, but you guys will see that after the rope drop. Thank you guys so much for watching each and every single day. We're kinda of just gonna chill here. Probably go see a movie or watch a movie here in our room. Casey's taking a shower right now, and I'm just finishing the edit. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.